What is up DTube Steam Blockchain? So Prionarch on DTube made a video about the topic of inner voice, sixth sense and intuition. And she was asking if you, the viewer, believe in it. So me personally, I don't believe so much in it. But at the same time, I do not disbelieve either as it has not come into my experience but um, I know for example that there I mean there is so little that a person knows so I can see how there probably is a lot of truths in a lot of stuff and also I also think that people probably can hallucinate a lot and uh, I mean same as I mean take for example a lot of TV shows uh, that is focusing on maybe ghosts or um, take these shows and people saying they're hearing ghosts and they have a whole camera team around them I can sort of see how people are starting to get more hallucinated hallucinating a little bit in their head so maybe they had some truths in it but then they sort of start to make stuff up and then you get sort of this mix and then eventually people get sort of just confused or take these uh take these programs where people are saying or maybe doing magic tricks or maybe they are sort of reading someone's mind usually what i think here is going on is usually then the person is mainly perceiving the person and then telling stuff uh, from what they can see on them that I mean if you really look closely at someone you can really see their past present and future and that's not really magic it's just it's just perce perception I mean if you're really looking at something you can actually see it quite clear and and it looks like magic but it's not really magic and, and sometimes I think the people are adding a little bit stuff stuff on top so the topic is pretty interesting still though because uh, take, take a sixth sense for example well I do think that I mean uh, our five senses uh, yeah they can sort of perceive the uh, the outer world and stuff like that but if a person I do think that if a person um, can be silent and sort of perceive themselves and uh, sort of be still then they can sort of perceived stuff inside of themselves that can look somewhat of almost like a sixth sense but I don't think it's that um, that of a mystery actually even though I mean if a person sits still and they sort of pay attention to their own internal system uh, and uh, then that might look quite um, just because nobody's doing it these days, if someone is doing it, they're probably going to perceive something that maybe is that other people have not really noticed. And then it almost looks like a sixth sense or it almost looks like magical for other people uh, because all the people are not really paying attention to anything, not even uh, the outer world that much because they're, this is this is how most people are. I mean, they're not really looking at anything. Their their view is basically all over the place. Or even if they're thinking or something like that, they're <laughs> they're thinking like this. They 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 quickly jump to let's say another topic. So um. So what I actually think a lot of this is sixth sense intuition. What I think it actually is, is humans can make their their perception of the world much better. They, they can basically crank up, crank up their perception. And if they do that, they can see more stuff that was already there, but they can just see it more clear now. So for other people, it may look super magical. Hmm... At the same time, maybe also something about it with, uh, with, 
I'm not sure if you, you should call it a sixth sense, but maybe I would say that there are probably other dimensions of intelligence in a human being that we have not really explored that much. Not really explored that much. We use fascinated by the intellect. Not that much about other dimensions of intelligence, which has to be an experience. So it's very interesting with life because we can, a human being can only experience life from, um, from their own system, from their own uh, sort of system. They cannot experience something outside of themselves. So even when you're touching someone, you're not, you're only feeling the sensations in your body, which is kind of amusing. So this is kind of interesting also with feelings and thoughts that you are only like you can generate your you are the best like chemical factory here on this planet so you are you can actually generate the feelings that you want because you are the chemical machine uh so that's kind of interesting because usually a lot of people look at it they want to do it uh, more mystical or mysterical or like sound make it sound magical take for example the idea of love which actually used is sweet emotions towards something that a human a human is capable of love like they're capable of that but usually people want to make it as that it's something external that it really is about well, it's actually, if you're really looking at it, it's more a sweet emotion. And that humans are capable of that. And yes, other human beings are also capable of that at the same time. And yeah, you can sort of connect that. But, but people are usually looking at a lot of stuff very much focused on the external. While the life is actually happening here. So intuition, I, I think that one is really, really interesting. So do, what, what I think that is probably is that we are perceiving a lot of stuff. I mean, we actually are like our senses are always taking stuff in and they're storing it somewhere in the background. And sometimes, yes, you do get a very, very strong feel or intuition for something. And, and, and then you sort of act in a certain way. And I think that one is probably the ones, the one that is the most sort of clear that, or well, that that one is probably is the one that people uh, sort of um, has a personal experience with a lot. The the inner voice aspect, the the, the inner voice one. Um, that one is sort of. That one is sort of interesting, but uh, I think that that one probably is probably that humans, I mean, this is also something that a lot of people want to do that, for example, that all this uh, sort of philosophy of sort of love yourself and, and stuff like that. Well, I mean, love is between two people. You cannot really love yourself. I mean, if you are like one person. I mean, love yourself. It, it's um, it almost becomes madness, but uh, maybe there are some truths that that someone had something sort of speak to them. Uh, you can probably speak to nature, but how it will speak back will probably not be as we like to silly think it, it would speak back in a human voice which probably is not how it would talk back it probably would um talk back in in some sort of nature way yes i mean we're always in communication with nature so you can probably communicate communicate with everything but i'm not sure if, I, uh, if if that would be like an inner voice but uh, maybe you can say that uh, maybe you can say that different uh, different um, different stuff in nature maybe that it can have some form of inner voice. Uh, I mean, we do know, for example, that plants 
are communicating with other plants if an animal comes and sort of starts to eat from one plant the, the plants are warning other plants uh, to, in the neighborhood to sort of create poison instead if someone comes and eats them so everything is constant in sort of communication with sort of the rest of um, the rest of creation I mean just as when you're breeding you're always in constant communication with life and uh, that you can't really exist for a moment if you sort of stop this breeding and uh, be constant communication with everything else so I would say that I don't disbelieve but I don't believe either but if something comes into my experience then uh, I would sort of update my view on it but the thing that I'm mainly fascinated about is human perception and uh, and that humans are pretty amazing in that way like the, the amount that we can sort of perceive and and uh, how you can crank up the the voltage of what you can perceive in the world I think that is that is super 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 cool and uh, it's kind of like um, turning on all the lights in a room compared to when you only could see a flashlight lamp when your perception was a little bit lower on the volta voltage side but yeah it is fun topics and uh, I think humans for sure will start to explore more about what it actually means to be a human being because we have not really explored it that much yeah have a great day d tube and steam